We are investigating new EGFR inhibitors. Uh, this has really been uh, our, our first great success in the modern era of lung cancer therapy is, is learning how to find patients with EGFR mutations and how to treat them with EGFR inhibitors uh, with very successful drugs. Unfortunately, the length of benefit is not as long as, as we would like. And, and so uh, we have many patients that, uh, that need a new drug to, to uh, be, be treated with following erlotinib, Tarceva. Uh, we know that most of the time, uh, about 60% of the time that Tarceva stops working, it's because the cancer cells have developed an, a second mutation. They still have the EGFR mutation, but they've developed another mutation uh, called T790M. And uh, what that mutation does is it, it adds a, a, a protein arm uh, that blocks the place that, that Tarceva should be binding to. Uh, and, uh, and that kind of physical interaction is enough to stop Tarceva from working. Uh, what we uh, have looked at, and uh, we have a few drugs that are leading the way here, is new ways to bind into that same place that avoid that protein arm, that blocking arm, or we call it a gatekeeper mutation. And uh, there are a few drugs in this area, and, and one of the ones that I've worked uh, most with is CO1686. It's also an oral drug, uh, generally very well tolerated, and it does fit that criterion of, of inhibiting these cancer cells that have become resistant to Tarceva. Uh, as, uh, as an additional benefit, uh, these drugs have been designed not to inhibit the, what we call the wild type EGFR, the non-mutated EGFR. So you do away with most of the Tarceva side effects. Patients are not getting rash, they're not getting diarrhea. So you have a better tolerated drug that, that uh, may be uh, effective following Tarceva. A, a question that we hope to be looking at soon is, could it be better than Tarceva head to head for patients that are getting their first EGFR treatment? Um, but in any case, uh, it looks like this is going to be an important step forward, uh, and, uh, and there's several drugs in this category that are looking exciting.